to the Louisville Metro Police Department. You guys are racist and you guys suck. Earlier today I was riding my bike and I was just sitting on the corner waiting for people to go by, traffic to go by, and all these cops start rushing towards me. <laughs> Um, on a little scooter, whatever, there's two wheels, it's not, I don't think it's a, it's not a Segway, but it's one of those, uh, like a three-wheel Segway. <laughs> so, so he come up with a three-wheel Segway, and he said, move, move, get out of the way, go, he just said, go, wherever you need to go, and I was like, fuck, I was just sitting here waiting for you fuckers, so I was like, fine, I just hopped on my bike, started pedaling down the sidewalk, and he was like, get off the sidewalk, it's illegal to ride on the sidewalk. Fucking hate people like that. Just to be ordering you, just to be fucking ordering you and shit. If that guy didn't have a fucking badge on, he wouldn't be shit. You hit a cop, you get five years in jail. I've heard cops come up to you and just bump you in the fucking chest. Just bump you in the chest. And damn you. I mean, how can, as a man, how do you just take somebody just coming up and fucking bumping in you like that? How do you accept that? You can't. And when it comes down to it, it's justice. You're allowed to defend yourself. And if they bump your chest, they bump, they take your chest, their chest and bump it into yours, that motherfucker is wanting to fight. And you're allowed to hit that motherfucker. And the jury should acquit you of all charges because you defended yourself. And we all know the cops suck. Just recently, Louisville Police Reorganization with Target Violent Crime. Just recently, fucking August 27, 2012. Now you're going to fucking go after violent crime? Now you're targeting violent crime? We didn't have a violent crime division before? What the fuck are we doing, Louisville? What the fuck? Louisville's police chief? Who the fuck is this guy? We lose Robert White, so we had, you know, our Obama here. That was our Obama. Have we ever had a black mayor? When are we going to get a black mayor? Robert White leaves, and now who the fuck knows who this fucking dickhead is? They've had interim and this guy and that guy. Is it just Fisher? Is Fisher the only one that's the true police chief? The Viper Unit, Violent Incident Prevention and Enforcement Response. The Viper Unit. <laughs> so that's the new gang in town. It's not just LMPD anymore, but now they're doing some, uh, uh, what's that movie with uh, Michael... Say Crichton, maybe Matt Crichton, Michael Crichton. It was about a corrupt cop, rogue unit that did good shit. So that's what it sounds like they're doing. They got a rogue fucking militia unit, the Viper unit, the Viper unit. Go hot spots of violent crime, the city's worst offenders, hunt down fugitives, battle gang activity. According to a memo from Police Chief Steve Conrad. Obtained by the Courier Journal. Steve Conrad. Okay, there's our police chief. Steve Conrad. Steve Conrad is the person that's running Louisville. He's the militia. He's the military. In Egypt, when they took over um, Mubarak and they was able to wipe that leadership out, you still had SCAP. You still had the Security Council Armed Forces. The Armed Forces, the fucking militia. And the militia is going to get high praise for, you know, maintaining democracy and letting the elections continue, but they try to fuck everybody over right at the very end. And every time you see the people gather on the streets, it's always the police that's opposing them. Don't they see they, the 99%? The police are the 99%. They're in the same economic group as the rest of us. But I guess they see middle and poor, and they go after the poor two-tiered justice system. If you got a lawyer, then you got legal protection. If you don't have a lawyer, watch your fucking back. You have to watch out for corrupt criminal citizens, and you have to watch out for the corrupt criminal cops. You gotta look over your back for both of these gangs. And they all gangs. Republicans, Democrats, the police, FBI, ATF, Homeland Security. That's why they, they can't even get along with each other. Homeland Security is supposed to try to get them all together. So, Viper's unit's duties are currently spread throughout Louisville Metro Police among beat officers, investigations, narcotics, and other units. So, no. No, they never had a violent division. A anti-violent division. So, good thinking. The Viper unit be made of 31 people, Lieutenant 5 Sergeant, 25 Detectives. If you're going to be in the West End, get some black people in there. Black people should be... Uh, policing themselves, okay? You want to you cut down on the racial profiling? 
raise black people up from their own ranks, put a badge on one of them, make one of them a cop, make several of them a police. None of them should be from the outside. None of them should be white. Maybe one. We can have a affirmative action for the white people too. But first things first. So Steve Conrad said a bunch of people working very, 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 very hard, but the resources were not dedicated in a single unit. So Steve Conrad's this is Steve Conrad's baby, his pet pilot project, the Viper Unit. Thirty one people, Lieutenant, five sergeants, went by detectives. Positions have not been filled. All commanding officers' detective positions will be chosen through interviews. The Viper unit will launch at the close of business on September 29th, along with other changes. So the end of next month is when the Viper unit will be out and about on patrol. The Viper unit. <laughs> September, October. That's one month before the election. So the Viper unit goes out and about to combat violence, right? So we ain't violent. Occupy is not violent. We're non-violent. We're committed to non-violence. We know exactly what the fuck they'll do if there is violence. They want us to be violent. So this is the biggest change this to by Conrad since he became chief in March. Steve Conrad has been police chief since March. It's now August 30th, 4:37 a.m. Mayor Greg Fisher hired Conrad from Glendale, Arizona, where he'd also been police chief, but Conrad previously had been a lead administrator in LMPD. He was deeply involved in the 2003 merger of the old police department and Jefferson County Police. Community's focus on violent crime became more urgent issue after a shocking daylight shooting in the Parkland neighborhood in May, which got national coverage. That's probably the more dramatic part of that, right? It's bad PR is what the way fucking Fisher looks at it. So... Blah, 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 more shit, more shit, more shit. Um, LMPD Sergeant Chad M. Cunningham blames racial profiling on kids doing vandalism. <laughs> so, so police char chief sergeant, the LMPD, the LMPD. The LMPD, Louisville Metro Police Department. They say the reason why they got profiled is because the black kids are the ones doing the graffiti. <laughs> you know, the, black, the black people are the ones doing the crime. That's what LMPD Sergeant Chad M. Cunningham. Chad M. Cunningham. He's offered his insights on why the LMPD still makes unapologetic routine traffic stops based on profile, racial profiling. Quote, if they, the LMPD, try to do the right thing and at least check this thing out, then they're doing it to mess with people. The kid vandalizing downtown are causing thousands of dollars worth of damage. And for the record, Mayor Greg Fisher's own bicycle costs more than a thousand dollars. Cunningham was promoted to uh, sergeant in February, graduated from the sergeant academy in June, probably thinks he's hot shit now. <laughs> Curtis Morrison, man. Curtis Morrison was our fucking Morrissey. That was the only thing that we had close to institutionalized and occupy. And that's exactly what we need to do, especially here in Kentucky, in the red state, in the blue city, in the red state. We need to counter the Tea Party. We can have a strong counter Tea Party movement here. It's ready. It's ripe. People are waiting. We just got to stand up and grab it. So... Started when an African American Facebook friend of mine was pulled over on his bicycle in downtown Louisville Thursday night by three LMPD cruisers. My friend writes about his experience in a Facebook stash. He writes that the police told him they received a report of a man on a bicycle throwing a bag of trash off the Second Street Bridge. Spirited Facebook thread, thread ensues. Friends giving him a hard time about riding a huffy. I shoot off an OR to find out. An open records request, an ORR, open records request. Curtis Morrison knew how to do that, the ins and outs of how to find in the information. He had contacts. People were jealous, I think. People have their own ideas for the revolution, and that's why Occupy Louisville has completely dissipated into fucking nothing. <laughs> There's some embers that are still alive, just like the labor movement, the militant labor movement. So, um... Cunningham showed exactly why his profile is necessary. My friend is a grown-ass man. He's not a kid vandalizing downtown, and he's not throwing trash off a bridge, so grown-ass man. Um, <laughs> so, Sergeant Cunningham, go fuck yourself.
Sergeant Cunningham, what a dick, you're a dickhead. Sergeant Cunningham, you're an asshole. You just want to fucking keep on pushing people, keep on fucking flexing your stupid fucking muscle. Some bullshit, dude. Peaceful revolution. Day of rage. November 1st, November 1st, and November 6th. For six full days, Louisville will be shut down. Louisville will be shut down. Okay? No commerce. No movement till we get our ten demands. We'll have ten demands. Dr. Powell will have ten demands. And until we get our demands, this shitty, this shitty city, which runs on electricity from LG&E, will be shut down. Hueyville. We're going to shut down Louisville, and we're going to resurrect Hueyville. Who wants to live in Hueyville? Um, Kentucky sees a surge in addicted infants. Louisville Courier Journal. More than half the babies in university hospitals. Neonatal intensive care unit. One day this month we're suffering from drug withdrawal. One sucking licorice flavored morphine that eases tremors and near constant crying. Another so sensitive to light and sound that he slept in a dark isolation room that the tiniest victims of Kentucky's prescription pill academic numbers are soaring. Kentucky has seen its hospitalizations for addicted newborns climb for 29,2730 this year. Last year, state's 24% increased doors by comparison and national disturbing national rise of 330%. God. Kentucky, Kentucky, come on. If you're fucking pregnant, don't do drugs. Don't be doing prescription pills and shit. If you're fucking pregnant, don't smoke. Don't eat, you know, be healthy as a Muslim. Be healthy as fuck. You pregnant? Don't fuck your kid's life up like that. If you weren't ready to have a baby, then take care of it. In its early stages. Morning after, preferably. The moment of, preferably, right? Fort Campbell soldier dies in Afghanistan, Louisville, Kentucky. Fort Campbell soldier has been killed in Afghanistan. Army says 20-year-old private first class Patricia Horn of Greenwood, Mississippi, died on August 24th. She was in Bagram, Afghanistan time. Horn was assigned to the 96th Aviation Support Battalion, 101st Combat Aviation Brigade. This is part of the 101st Airborne Division from Fort Campbell. They did not release a cause of death. Here's a Paul Patton task force that came out in the year 2000 called Adult Education and Literacy in Kentucky. It's, uh, it's lrc.kentucky.gov, so the government has this website. Task force on adult education. Governor Paulie Patton was the chair. Senator Walter Blevins, Representative Brent Yons, and some other people. Um, so they want to fix all these problems with the literacy in Kentucky. In the very beginning, they have some stats. Some findings, some appalling findings. I'm going to go from the bottom up because the first one is the most appalling, I think. Illiteracy is a pervasive condition affecting every dimension of Kentucky life. Illiteracy is everywhere in Kentucky, okay? People need to be told what's going on. Someone needs to be looking through the information and telling them the important stuff. The media is not telling you the important stuff, and we know that. We're also pissed. We understand what's going on. There's also a lot of, uh, you know, uncertainty in the air. It's a new world. There is going to be a new world order. It's going to be one of freedom and revolution and democracy and solidarity and unity and peace and justice and love. Two Low literacy levels of parents relate directly to the education of children and youth. Children of parents with low literacy levels are five times more likely to drop out of school. Kentucky continued high dropout rates from secondary school continue to feed the problem. Two-thirds of Kentucky's counties have 40% or more of their working age population at levels 1 and 2 literacy. In 10 counties, 50% or more of the working age population is at levels 1 and 2 literacy. 40% of Kentucky's working age population, 1 million, is at the two lowest literacy levels, 1 and 2. Not being able to read at all are very limited to moderate levels. 40% of Kentuckians are the lowest two literacy levels. Either you can't fucking read at all or are limited to moderate levels. They're little fucking children, like kindergartners. But who brought kindergarten to America? The fucking Germans. The Mexicans, uh, fucking rowdy Mexicans that the white people fucking hated. 
White people hated the grip servers when they came into town. The white people hated us when we moved to Sanford Town. Because we were union and we had picnics on Sunday. Come on now. We can do better. Occupy Louisville. Viva la Revolution.